Hello, and welcome to our brief overview of Metastorm's latest product offering, Metastorm M3, Modeling for the Masses. In this overview, we'll familiarize you with what M3 is, why we created it, and why we think everyone will soon want it. Let's get started. In many organizations, processes are documented in a haphazard way. Multiple diagrams, documents, and spreadsheets are created defining the same process. We like to call this process management using Office. While this may work for some companies, in larger organizations with many departments and groups, this quickly becomes unmanageable and a drain on resources. There is often duplicate work being done in disparate groups, and no way to collaborate in a single process definition. Fixing this is why we created M3. By creating a central web-based environment, all groups can centrally collaborate and define a single accurate end-to-end -end process. So how do we do this? Firstly, M3 is a cloud-based offering. This means you don't have to install anything to use it. Simply point your browser to M3 and you're off and running. You can get up to speed in a matter of minutes without burdening IT. Second, because it is centrally located, collaboration is inherent. Everybody can see the same process definition and contribute to its accuracy. A group can even define a process collaborat collaboratively and in real time share those changes. And finally, it's super easy. We didn't target a particular group with a particular skill set. We wanted everyone empowered to contribute. You don't need to know how to model or what format a process flow should be in. Just capture the basics and M3 handles the rest. Now let's take a look at M3 and see how this is done. In M3, capturing processes is simple. Simply drag and drop to define the steps included in your process. In this example, we're defining our sales order process, adding a few extra steps, verifying the orders and delivering the orders. Once you capture the basics, you can define more detail, such as descriptions, and associations this activity has with other elements. These can be goals, requirements, rules, and even systems that enable this step to, to happen. Once you've captured the basic hierarchy, the steps included in your process, you can use other diagram types to define the workflow. Let's take a look at that now. We'll stick with the sales order process here and select it from our list. And by doing so, M3 automatically pulls in our four steps we defined in our hierarchy. Now we'll pull in the roles involved in this process. Rather than creating these roles from scratch, we're reusing roles that we've imported previously from an HR system. This concept of reuse ensures that all of the definitions of your roles are consistent across every process defined within the M3 system. Now we can place our activities in the appropriate lane and link them up. Linking defines the sequence of steps, which happens first, second, third, fourth, and then finally, how do we give this order back to the customer? You can also define the information. These are deliverables that are passed from step to step. Once you've captured this information in the system, you can now request comments and suggestions of improvement on this process. When adding comments into this field, they are instantly communicated to everybody with access to either view or edit this sales order process. By incorporating the larger group at the organization, we ensure that the definition of the process is as accurate as possible. In addition, while creating these models, basic zoom in, zoom out, panning functionality is all included, as well as more advanced functionality such as multi-user collaboration, where you can screen share and collaboratively build models. M3 is not limited to just process. We can also capture systems and locations and capabilities that relate to the process. If at any point you find yourself in a jam, 
pull up our help dialog to expose our best practices and strategies for capturing this information. Thanks for taking the time today to view our brief overview of Metastorm M3. And please give it a try for yourself. Sign up at m3.metastorm.com.